Assistant Commissioner of Police Rishi Singh acknowledges that the TTPS hasn't been 100% effective. We have a responsibility to deliver professional policing services to you all. And I want to admit that we recognize and, uh, that there have been areas in which the police service would have not fulfilled to the maximum on, on the mandate that, that we have. He says crime is multidimensional. We have violent crimes. You have property crimes with violence, property crimes without violence. You have public order crimes, regulatory crimes, traffic issues. And so within the recognition of the dimensions of just those categories, you would see that there are levels of persons within the community that engage in different types of those deviant behavior. And that's why police too must also be multidimensional and projects like Eagle Eye are of grave importance in terms of crime detection. And more and more because of citizens, both reluctance, which is driven by sometimes fear, sometimes a feeling of hopelessness. They don't necessarily want to come forward to support in prosecutions generally. Project Eagle Eye, through the recordings, would offer the opportunity for us to re revisit past crimes, present situations and future circumstances to create the opportunities for us to identify the perpetrators of crime. And if we were to judge the effectiveness of the project, the developers were at hand. The detection will in Tunapuna. Anybody spoke about it? Okay. So the detection rate in Tunapuna has changed from one of the lowest to one of the highest in the country. Within the six to eight months that we have had the system installed, that is not simply due to the system, but that is also due to the work done by Officer BPAT and the rest of the officers for taking what we have given them and working with it. Because having a bunch of cameras installed with no officers doing anything simply makes no sense. So we want to thank the officers. Eagle Eye launched in March of this year. Urvishi Tawari, Rupnarayan, TV6 News.